Hello everyone, let's have a brief view of our latest manuscript successful treatment of metastatic colorectal cancer with apatinib, report of two cases and literature review. Vascular endothelial growth factor receptor 2 is identified as one kind of crucial regulator of the whole process of tumor angiogenesis. Apatinib, a novel small molecule tyrosine kinase inhibitor that inhibits the EGFR2, has been approved for metastatic gastric adenocarcinoma in China in October 2014. Here we report two metastatic colorectal cancer patients who received apatinib 850 mg daily as third-line therapy. Patient 1 was diagnosed with rectal adenocarcinoma with pelvic and liver metastasis on July 2014. She was initially treated with oxaliplatin blesterol titrix for three cycles. It was then replaced by oxaliplatin bless TS1 for three cycles, followed by oral TS1 as a maintenance treatment for six cycles. In July 2015, she was also treated with three times DDP plus endostivin peritoneal perfusion chemotherapy to deal with her massive ascites. The patient obtained progressive disease on CT scans after the termination of chemotherapy. She began to administer it with apatinib 850 mg daily in October 2015. CT scan after she had taken apatinib for four months indicated a stable disease with a 22.2% decrease of liver target lesions compared with the baseline of October 2015. She finally benefited four months progressive free survival and 11 months overall survival. Patient 2 with diagnosis with rectal adenocarcinoma with pelvic metastasis on March 2013. He underwent gamma knife surgery to the rectum and pelvic lesions on April 2013. FOLFOX6 was commenced then for four cycles. The efficacy was evaluated as partial response. In July 2015, his CT scans indicated the recurrence of the tumor with liver metastasis. Then, he received one cycle of falfiric chemotherapy. Significant diarrhea occurred and he refused further chemotherapy. The patient started oral apatinib 850 mg daily from August 12, 2015. The CT scan showed a 27.7% decrease of the target liver lesion after a patient who administrated apatinib for 3 months. After 10 months of apatinib administration, CT scan revealed a stable disease with a 7.6% decrease of target liver lesion. He maintained stable radiological response for further 10 months. Both two patients presented hand foot syndrome, and one of them suffered a slight impaired liver function, mild elevated blood pressure and proteinuria. But these adverse events were manageable with symptomatic treatment and dose reduction. In conclusion, the response to apatinib in our patients showed that apatinib may prolong the survival of patients with metastatic colorectal cancer with a good safety and tolerability profile. Nevertheless, there are still some questions including the broader application, drug resistance, predictive biomarkers, require further investigation.